Uh, my husband's in the room. Old. Ty, would you grab me that pessimist? Oh, that's empty. Can you uh, put that bottle back? <laughs> of course we have an empty bottle of the pessimist. Mm. Can you tell by my lips? Yeah, my whole... <laughs> My tongue is not purple anymore, but the you whole, need another little like splash. Crazy bright purple. Oh my god! <laughs> this um, is like, so much <laughs> insights into <laughs> when moms are away. Here, the look. wine will flow. Okay, that's gonna be murder. Here, okay, I'll take it. okay. Here's the okay. the pessimist is so good. I would venture to say it There's is one of my bottle. very favorite wines, Dal Vineyards. It's amazing. Do you know what the quote is on this bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. No. A pessimist. Mm. Wait, let's play a game. Okay. A pessimist is never what? Fill Positive? Ah, that's a good is that one. It? No, that's not. But that's good. <laughs> What's your guess? A pessimist is never blank. A pessimist is never happy. Well, that's good too. The answer is a pessimist is never disappointed. Oh, that's good. It's kind Why? Of the expectations are because the low. expectations are always really low. Everything's gonna be bad. So when life's good, the bottle. Mm. So my husband is in the room. I asked him to come over here. Oh, let's see how it goes. Oh no! Right, you want your kiss? Get it now. Oh, oh my! Oh, shit. This is hi. My name is Mom. A podcast about motherhood. Here are your hosts, Jen, Corey, and Kayla. Welcome to the next bites. episode of Jerry Springer. <laughs> Wait, okay, so we were the just funny talking thing is... about divorce. We might as well continue the conversation. What? It's weird yeah, for can you imagine, all sir? of us to listen and find out what is really going on in your heads a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most interesting? I don't even. Button? I honestly don't even know. I just think like, oh, I know Corey so well, and we always used to like immediately share stories with each other and talk about things. And I'm the same. I'm just as guilty for the record. Yeah. I mean, there's like stuff where I go, oh, I'll tell her later. And then the kids come in and I'm like, well, I can't tell her now. Sometimes you don't tell by. me major things. Yeah. Adrian says that oh. I don't tell him anything. He's like, you tell yeah. all your girlfriends and you think you tell me and you don't. And I'm like, he just used to get upset. Cause he's like, he's like, why, why don't you just talk to me about that? Like you don't have the same Not reaction. The same. First off, you don't even look at me in the eye when I'm telling you something that I think is T dramatic. <laughs> You have no reaction. And then if I'm like, oh, my God, isn't that so bad? He's like, no. Not really. No. What are you, why like, are you? Can't you get on You're my like, side I need a good this? reaction. Yes. If yes. I'm going to tell you a juicy story, it's got to come with a good reaction. Yeah. And then, you know, no offense, mm -hmm. but the manly way is to not always listen, but they want to respond with a instant fix. And I'm like, I don't need you to fix it. I just need you to just. I, I just want to wallow in this for a minute. I just want to wallow. Just <laughs> let so me I'm whine. I'm a representative of all men. <laughs> all, all mankind. mankind. Got it. Yes. Yeah. I Wonderful. couldn't get Adrian actually, on the phone, but actually, Brittany did yeah. say that she would love your insight on the argument that yeah. PJ. Yeah, that was how I was tricked into this. Oh. I was like, hey, come over here. Brittany really thinks it'd be great to oh, have your insight good. for PJ. But so I, also, I came over, and in full disclosure, I kind of feel like you're I have savior. to default to to PJ's side. Yeah, you're saving Why? the day. Well, because I kind of feel like, regardless of what's going on here, and this is the way it should be. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the way it should be with friends like Jen and Corey. They should automatically support you. Yeah, which we will be. No matter what. They'll be real with you, but I think... We're realists, though. But I also we think tell, we're really supportive of each other. We tell people if they, we feel like they're wrong. Well, wait. Why don't you tell the story, and then we'll weigh in. <laughs> wait. TBD. Are we going to start with my fight Let's or your go. fight? Let's do it. All right. No, our fight's dumb. Like, it might wait, actually make me mad fight. again. It's so dumb. Oh, but. He, he's legitimately he's get, mad about this fight, which spicy. I thought was funny, and he got legitimately mad. And then it took me a minute to realize he was mad, and then when he got mad, I laughed, which made him more mad. Oh, so do you mad do you it. ever start by joke? Sometimes I like I I'm what's the word? Not it's not nagging. It's like a joke, but it it's it's it hinting at something into, actually mm -hmm. you know going on. Is and that then he takes offense. Aggressive, like but, it, but like it's not really passive yeah. aggressive because I'm not I'm not actually trying to incite an argument. I'm just trying to like pinch a little bit. Yeah, teasing. Just, and then he gets hurt because he's because he'll be like, Oh, are you butt hurt <laughs> about something? And I'd be like, Well, no, I wasn't, but now but I clearly am. You are. And then I keep going. I'm like, I was just joking, but then you clearly want to open this. So while you're opening up, let's talk about this. And I've got more to say. And then it becomes a huge argument. Well, I'm thanks. like, if you would just let me joke with you and like pinch your butt for a second, we've been totally fine. But you had yeah. to take this to another level, so I'm gonna open up the entire cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what was the latest about? Okay, the latest is, mm. so we're we're exiting newborn phase and we're entering toddler phase. Oh, yeah. Which, what's, what's really cool about it is watching her experience the world. What's really anxious about it is that PJ has moved on to a new job where it's no longer a work from home situation. And I am like a semi work from home, right? I can, I have the ability to work from home, but 
we are an office situation. So it's nice to go in and see my team. It's I'm, I'm there's been sometimes there's been comments about like, oh, Brit, you know, Brit's in the office. And so I get a little bit of anxiety to make sure that I'm there and I'm seen. So there's a few days a week I go in for a couple hours. And on Wednesdays, I'm always there in the afternoon. And it works out because PJ used to be able to rewire his like meetings around my work. So his schedule kind of worked around my schedule. Now he's not work from home at all. My first issue, the first notch that got me there was that he had like basically told me at the moment that he was getting the offer letter, that this job was happening. So I oh, like, you didn't even know he had like interviewed. No. Yeah. And I had like less than mm, a week, two weeks to really figure out how to change the course of my entire world. Right. What you always planned for. Mm-hmm. What I always planned for. And PJ coming out of infant dad, I love you. I love him. Um, to death, but infant dad is a totally different dad, especially first time infant dad. I would say majority of men are not great because they don't know what to do, right? Like I'm so in it and my whole body's going crazy and I have so much to, to figure out hormonal wise, baby wise, you know, and you're breastfeeding feeding wise the child from your body. Yeah. Stuff's coming out of every orifice of my body. And I have to stay, still maintain a full-time job and make a household work. And there would be moments where he was just like, I'd be like, can you hold the baby? And within seconds, he'd be like, okay, I think the baby needs boob, right? So default mom, which is cool. I love the bonding, but sometimes I need like a break. I, I can't even take at this moment, have not been able to take a single shower by myself. Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say with him working from home, it was still hard because the baby would still default to me, but now I can't even get away, right? So his nine to five, nine to five is essentially 7 a.m. So he's up at 7 a.m. He's out the door. And he doesn't come home till five. I see nothing of him till five o'clock because he works downtown. Five o'clock rolls around. He walks in the door, says hi to everybody, and then he gets ready to go to the gym. And then he comes home from the gym. It might be six o'clock. And then he makes dinner. Then he makes dinner. And then he may decide within the course of whatever to go play some video games. Right. So now oh, it's about video games. So now it's about nine o'clock and I'm still sitting here yeah. like, OK, when's my turn? Right. When can I go take a shit? When can I take a shower? When can I work out? When can I like, and so instead of arguing, this is where I think I went wrong. Instead of saying, Hey, I need this in the beginning. I was like, okay, let me try to work it out. Right. So I got a workout program in which I could work out from home. We have a home gym. It's totally fine. But working around the baby when she wants to take a 30 minute nap or a 60 minute nap changes everything. So I literally have videos on my phone because I have to send it to my trainer of me working out with the baby on top of me, right? And so I'm saying all this, he comes home and uh, he made a comment about the laundry not being done. The baby had um, blown out (laughs) as I put the stuff in the washer, but not the dryer. And he was like, oh, so you did some laundry today. And I was like, (sighs) "Uh uh-huh, okay, right? And then I was like, hey, do you you think you're gonna, you wanna make dinner? And he was like, well, you can make dinner for once. And I was like, ooh, straight number two. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going we're gonna to hold it. We're going to hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes upstairs to play video games, and uh, he comes back downstairs to get ready for bed. And he's like, oh, the baby's not in bed yet? So here's the thing about the baby. Now that she's mobile, toddler baby, likes to come out of bed because we, we co-sleep at this moment, comes out of the bed, goes up the stairs because she has in her head that her daddy needs to be in the bed with mommy before she gets to lay down. Oh, yeah. So it's a very sweet moment. Yeah. But for him, he was like, oh, did, so the baby's not in bed yet? And I looked at him and I was like, well, you could put the baby in the bed. So it just started out very casual, like, you could put the baby in the bed. And he was like, oh, is mommy's feelings hurt? And I said, no, mommy feels really fucking underappreciated right now. And then I had well, I just you. let it out, right? You've been holding it, holding it. I've been it, holding yeah, it, holding trying it. Trying to work it out, trying to work it out. And then he pushed too many buttons. Yeah, and I was like, I have literally had uh, this entire week, I have not one moment to myself. I can't even take a shower. I'm trying to struggle to, to figure out childcare because, by the way, you gave me less than two weeks notice to figure out something that is the ent- hardest thing in the entire world to do is to find good childcare in Nashville that is within budget but also everything that I need. Mm-hmm. Um, Within weeks. And so I was like, I'm I'm doing my best to make everything work. I was like, but I don't think you realize, and this was yesterday, that in order for me to go to work today, my warehouse Wednesday, I have to drive four friggin' hours to your sister in Clarksville to watch my child for four hours. And then I have to leave, come back, 
And then I got asked to do a podcast. And you know what? I'm not going to say no. I'm going to do that. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to come pick up the baby while I'm at the podcast. And he he listened. His argument was, you just need to, you just need to tell me what you need. There are some men, and this is a generalization I recognize, but there are some men where fatherhood, you have to be told. It's not that they won't help. It's not that they don't want to help. It's not their heart's not there. It's that they truly, because they are not, in that mode all day, every day, they, they don't even know. And Adrian stayed at home with our kids for 10 years. And he's been out of that for three years now. And he still sometimes is like, oh, sorry, I'll get that. Like he, he still yeah. sometimes needs a reminder. And he was primary for a while. So I do think there's a thing, you hit on it, where it's like, you're just in it all the time. And so sometimes it is. You. But what do you think he would do if you at nine o'clock at night just went upstairs and started playing video games? I would love to see you playing Mario Kart. Just, just like, flipping. What would he yeah. think? Like you like, just left River in the middle of the living room while he's making dinner and he's like, oh, yeah, like, oh, like she's not bad. Just, or I just went downtown with my girlfriends, like, hey, I'm just going to hang out with the girls. Because I mean, that, that happened. You know, I'm going to hang out with the girls. And I guess that was the kind of the argument is that he can leave or he do. He has the expectation that you're there. And he, that's the problem. But where he felt upset. Yeah. Was that he's he was like, you make me feel guilty or I feel guilty by your comment about work because you're acting like I have it easier because I get to get away and I, or I get to I, I am away at work, not working from home. And it, my argument was, yeah, you get you get to get away. That is you, easier. You at least have a commute with no one pulling on your leg. Right. And I'm literally on every phone call, every every meeting I've had this week, I've had to hold on mute, pray to Jesus that she doesn't scream in the middle of when I have to talk because that happens almost instantly, right? As soon as I'm like, oh, blah, yeah, blah, 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 and the baby's on. like, ah! You know, the thing that I think a lot of, and I'm just going to say men because in this situation we're talking about husbands, forget about when they have a wife at home who is acting as a primary caregiver, that your job, you work as well, and then your job as a mom, both those things coexist all day long, Right. PJ does his job all day long and it's six o'clock or whenever you're both done with day job. But that means that then evening job starts and that's not mm. Brit. That's both of you. Right. Co-parenting the evening and getting the kids. In and bed. we and we've talked about this before. It's it's a totally different situation than when our parents were raising it us is. because I'm working a full time job with a baby on the hip staying yeah. at home. Yeah. Right? Like it's it's no longer mom's at work or I'm working and and she's in childcare or whatever, which may be the case moving on, but I'm able to be home, which is it affords some really great privileges for her to be safe in her house with her mm -hmm. mom and her dogs. But it presents a whole new world of issues for me to be able to navigate being a human adult and having a job because I, I, you know, like not everybody, most people are understanding in my field, but I mean, how many times can I have a screaming baby on the other end of a conference call? Well, but by you know? the way, what I said stands also, if you are a stay at home mom right. who does not have another job outside of the home, because your job as a stay at home mother ends at the end of the day. And then the co-parenting starts. And, that's and I am a job on top passionate. of being a stay at home mom. Absolutely. Yeah. Both yeah. adults in that situation have two jobs. They have a day job and an evening job. And just because a guy goes to work and comes home, he is not exempt from evening stuff. Right. Like, I just, I believe that so strongly that it's like, it is the time. That's why I say, like, maybe it's, maybe just turn it around on him one night and well, be like, what are you going to feed like, her? That was the, <laughs> that was what instigated the fight. But like, then do you guys, are you able to hear each other? Is he like, get you, like. Does it turn into a thing or so are you I, able to so kind of... So I, I think I over... I think I'm even doing it right now. I overanalyze stuff and I, I tend to over... Um over speak it right so i'm because I'm, I'm trying to show every that i get i see every angle i'm very aware of my my fault in the situation but i i know how i feel and i'm trying to articulate it and so at some moments and what really raises me through the roof is when he just <laughs> he's listening with his, with oh, his head he's up staring at the ceiling. oh my <laughs> gosh it sends every hormone i have through my the, my brain i just like i with i anger. lose my mind uh. right because he's basically trying to say like i've heard you i want to i'm waiting to respond and you're not you're just you're, you keep talking so now i'm <laughs> tuning you out and i'm just gonna wait yeah but i but by him doing that i'm like oh you must not be getting what i'm saying so let me continue to keep talking and say it a different <laughs> way <laughs> 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 but i guess i guess where we're at is just Right. She's she's no longer a newborn where she's just immobile and I can, you know, put her to sleep and schedule my meetings and do everything I need to do while she's taking a nap. She's 
wily and awake and putting fingers in outlets. Mm -hmm. And I have to be much more attentive to her. So now I'm getting, I feel like more exhausted than I was in the newborn phase. Well, we've said that for a long time. And Kayla just said to me today, actually, she's like, you know what? You're right. The newborn phase is, is easy in a lot of ways. It's exhausting, but you put them down and they don't go anywhere. Yeah. They don't move. And in this phase, it's like, Oh my God, there's so many things that they can get into that it becomes just, it's a whole different piece. And it's like, imagine if you're at work yeah. with someone trying to steal your focus at every moment. Right. And not just steal your focus, like, hey, I need something, I need something, I need something. You'd be like, blah! Yeah. Like, as, so my oh, you're is, not going to listen to me? Yeah. I'm going to go yeah. eat the chemicals under the sink. Yeah. Like, so the end of the argument, well, it wasn't really an argument, right? I'm just kind of, I literally just started venting. I'm like, I just feel, mommy feels under, and I start talking in third person. <laughs> That's mommy the best. Feels, mommy feels underappreciated <laughs> because mommy has been doing all this stuff today and daddy has been at work and mommy has to do all of this and then she's expected to blah, blah, blah. And I just, you know, just left it off. Oh, by the way, I, t- I had taken, through the course that whole day, I had also taken the baby to the dentist and went and saw Elizabeth. So I had a full day of activities, right? So I'm just lay it out. And he goes, so how do we fix this? And I just... Ugh, he sucked. I mean, sorry, I just realized I was sitting here listening to the podcast and I forgot that I was here. What do you mean? So he literally, the first thing he says, like, how can I fix this? Yeah, because he... And you're mad at him? Yeah. That's pretty good response, And I was like, response, I don't know how... PJ, I what, am I, what am I supposed to do? What, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to find the answer. Oh, so I wait, just want to... He was dance. legitimately asking you for the answer. Yeah. He wasn't being like, what can I do to fix this? It was like, how can I fix this? Yeah. Like, he genuinely... He wasn't being an asshole. He was like, literally like... Okay, so what can I can I do? Do you want me to like we 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 went and bought Olive and Ark thing? He was, he was like, do you want me to get you another pass for Olive and Ark so you can take her? To, <laughs> he's like, do you need do you need me to bring somebody? I don't like. What do you need I me to do? I fully support his response. I'm very proud that that was his response. Why don't you? I mean, you made me you you put me in the midst of all this, so mm. now I have I feel like I have to answer. But I think that one thing. And this is By the way, not the voice you right. hear if this is the pod if you're listening on the podcast platform oh, yeah. this is my husband Ty. Hi. Talking. Corey's husband, Ty, <laughs> weighing in. Great. I actually would like to stay anonymous or introduce me as Adrian so he can get the mask. <laughs> it's uh, at dad or alive. <laughs> I, uh, no, I, so I do the same thing kind of with Corey, but I, but I really do think you have to find I'm a I'm going to snuggle with Britt while he talks. Mm. <laughs> Great. We've, I've already blown it. you already blown it. Yeah. Okay. Good well, what do you, like, so what I was going to say, I think there's a shift from infant to toddler and, and we're three kids deep. So I've like gone through this several times now. So who knows what I was like the first time around, but I was also super comfortable around kids because I had a 10 year younger sister. So I felt like I raised her in a way and I knew a lot of that stuff. So I don't have as many questions maybe as how should I act? What should I do? You know, where am I valued, especially during this early stage where the baby really does get so much from you guys, from mom. Mm-hmm. But then when you shift to toddler, it's hard and it's different. And you, it's weird that early in life you have to start letting go a little bit. And so I was trying to tell Corey, like, yes, the Olive and Arc thing. I think that's real. There's only so much that we can each do. There's only two people that are mom and dad right now. Yeah. And we both have responsibilities and we both have personal like needs. I mean, obviously the anxiety just continues to build if you never give yourself that moment to pull back. So sometimes a babysitter is the answer. Sometimes Olive Narc's the answer, a nanny's the answer, shutting them in the room so you can run down the hall and yes. take the conference call is the answer. That's a real thing. Don't I just don't have the guilt that. over it. I'm fortunate. Bingo. And, and I know that moms That's it. Yeah. I know moms sometimes do have more guilt. But I I mean, I think Corey and I talked about this a lot, especially with Radley. We were I was always like, give yourself the break, and I can't always be the break, but I'm I support you and whatever we need to figure out. If we have to figure out budget, we cut back on whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's giving himself the break with the video games for an hour or whatever that is. He so just shouldn't come out of the video game room and say, "Oh, the baby's not in bed." <laughs> right? Yeah. But where was your? I didn't hear your break, and I don't know. Maybe you find it somewhere. Maybe it's Elizabeth sometimes, but it sucks, and you go, "It's impossible. I don't know when to do. It. I can't do it." But you like have to demand it, mm-hmm. even for yourself. Yeah, I know. It's really hard. But it's awesome that he's asking for, because I think that's the biggest thing in the end is like, does Adrian talk to Jen? Does Jen talk to Adrian in a way that they understand what the needs are? That's the control freak. Okay, so what I learned about being control freaks, kind of like being the dominant in Mm -hmm. like a dom sub situation. (laughs) Let's all relate through this. (laughs) Put me in latex and let's figure this out. (laughs) What I learned through Fifty Shades of Grey (laughs) is that the submissive is technically the one that owns it. Okay, right? So I'm saying all this to say the control freak in me uh, you would you would think There's that I have the answer. For sure. I don't know if it's control. I'm you not, would think I that know. I would have the answer, and I want that answer. 
I want him to come up with. I, I would. I you would, want him to solve. You it. want him to. Not I would ask have you loved what to in do, the minute. You want him to do it. Right. I would. I would have loved just in the in the moment of him just giving me a hug. Right. Yeah. I don't well, need the fix okay. right now. But, I don't. I don't have the answer. I feel that. You yeah. sure as hell don't have the answer. I can't. I, the The whole thing out of all of that was me feeling like. I can't do it all. I know I'm a little messy. I know I'm not the greatest at getting long. I, I put laundry in and I forget about it. But you know what? Your kid's totally safe, loved, doesn't have diaper rash. She's, you know, we've, we've done a whole day of activities. I just want to hug because. Well, sometimes that hug know, yes. means you're seen. So that hug means I see everything you've done. Mm, yeah. I recognize our daughter's taken care of and you've played with a baby all day who needs you all day day right which means that when you went to elizabeth you had a baby with you and all of those things i know that for me that sometimes that is just a matter of and i don't even feel like i need to be acknowledged or validated i just need it to be like i recognize all the shit you did and how hard that can be and that sometimes is enough here's what i ask do i ever do that first of all Usually you try to fix things, but you also, <laughs> but you also, <laughs> He's well, we have this conversation and he knows this. Well, where I'll say, I'll, if I start venting or complaining. I was on a call with you the other day where you literally go, I don't need you to fix it. I just need you to hear. And it was like, thank God I was on the other end of the call. I'm not in the I car did. or my ear I did. would have blown up. I yeah. turned down the volume on my speakerphone on my car because I on was the like, car. people outside. On the car. I lost my shit on him, you guys. I, well, not on no. you. I didn't lose my shit on you, but during I vented me. to him. The, during, you. Shit, during, during you. During you. This Why this has like, nothing to do with the fight I'm going to tell you guys about, but I did, and I apologized immediately, and I apologized like seven times throughout the day because I told him like I was not at my best. I had no patience. There were two things that put me over the edge. It was hormones and an interaction with our with a school director. And I was already, my nerves were frayed because yeah. my kids have not been in school at mm-hmm. the same time all year. Oh, yeah. And I'm still working. I'm still trying to handle things. I'm still trying to be the mom that they deserve. So it's a combination of frustration and guilt because I do feel like I'm not being enough for any of them yeah. and that I'm also failing on all other fronts. Right. And I beat myself up about those yep. things of like, she called for me and I wasn't there. He doesn't do that, which... Mm-hmm. I do with every single thing. Like, I'm not being enough for all three of them. I didn't get enough time with this one today. Yeah. This one didn't get enough of me. This one wanted and me, I think, and I told him I had to do something else. Right, and know? I think, too, it's it's easy to take it out on the partner, but in a, in a weird way, I'm also saying all of that because I wanted him in the moment. I was also feeling guilty about we haven't had a date since the baby's been born. Oh, you need that. And you I do. was I was also feeling guilty about, like, because – really up until like this past month have I felt back in my body and yeah. cool yeah. right and yeah. so like, I'm like does he find me attractive right. am I annoying is like because every time uh, you know when the baby was first born you're healing I'm like every time he sees me I'm on the couch like does he yeah. think I'm just being lazy it's, and then when he made the comment about the laundry not being done the baby not being in the bed I'm like oh, he thinks I'm lazy you know and I but because internally I feel lazy I feel like I haven't been myself and so knowing you're not yourself you're a whole new human. But you're and you're saying the hormones and it's like it, it's so funny that I think that some people will laugh or roll their eyes when we both say that, but your hormones are really a thing, it's right? Like real. especially as you're still in your 9 month mark postpartum, right? Yeah. Where you really aren't yourself until what years after yeah. you're done Correct. breastfeeding. But you're also and a so, different person. Right. And that's the other thing that's really important. And, and it's I, confusing for our partners because they're like is. this is not the reaction I'm accustomed well, to. And you have to also remember like our, also, Ty left. I think, he was oh, sitting yeah, I mean, by me. I'm, I'm he was there. sitting by me and he ran away. I just want to point out, PJ said, how how can I fix this? He That's cares. what I want to talk about. I do I agree love with that. that. And now I, I'm going to go elsewhere. I, no, no, no. I no, got to go take stay. something out wait, of no, the wash. Wait, no, just a second. Wait, wait, no, come here. Wait, wait, wait. Before Ty leaves, we're going to talk about your fight. Oh, no, we've got to talk about our fight. Okay, wait, 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 hold up. Before Ty leaves, I want to say this. We spend years training tiny humans right Mm -hmm. and i think that motherhood this is a generalization people might i get might get blowback Mm -hmm. about this but the reality is i think motherhood comes more naturally to most women than fatherhood comes to most men i think men need a little bit of like training and i think the fact that pj is even asking you like how he can do something is huge 
Because I think he could either pretend or not give a shit. That's and his so, way of taking care of you. That's your way of taking care of me. Yeah. How can I make you feel better? How can I fix it? How can I make it better? And I think that is a huge it's at least a good display start. of love. It's at least like, a good start. Ty, Ty didn't have the it, like uncomfortable with infants thing because he did have a baby sister. So I'm very lucky with him. Like He's very hands-on from the moment our children are born. Yeah. But his instinct is to fix things. And it's yeah. because he loves me. Yeah. I know that. I know that. I, he ran away... But my point, I, I truly think, I and I really believe this. I'm going to try not to get I'm emotional. I'm a great dad. I left our children to, Alone wherever the they house. are yeah. to come over here. But but I, I will say, I'm going to try not to get emotional saying this, but I truly believe that, like, I can't imagine a better partner, like, ever for anyone yeah. than you are. And that doesn't mean there aren't still bumps or, like, things where we're trying to figure out what the other one needs. It's just a yeah. part of the process. I, I literally say that every time someone asks me about PJ, I'm like, he is uh, – out of I think about all the partners I had before him. I'm like, I'd be fucked if they were my baby yeah. dad. Like yeah. He, yeah, PJ yeah. is really the best father yeah. and partner that I could have. And I just I think that that's just the that's really what's the emotional part of it is yeah. like you know and you love and you appreciate them. And then there's this little hiccup of like life's really changed. Like Life we're no longer dating and flirting and yeah. like, you know, getting hung over and having nights out on the town. Like it's work all now. of those things you still need to do well you yeah, have to get true. back you, you have yeah. to at least work your you way do towards you have them. to get back so that there. is kind of the point this isn't about like bashing partners and husbands it's about how no. sometimes we communicate in a different way and we're trying to understand each other in a phase that it's very difficult to understand what the other one's going through all the time i but, know it's been hard for you to leave riv and even like think about it right but like you could drop her off with any of the three of us and have a date night two yeah. hours out the two of you will revitalize you in a way you can't quite imagine right but now. I, and I'm sure you guys are, will feel the same way, though. Like, when they're in different phases, like right now Riv is in Stranger Danger phase, and if mm -hmm. I left her with you guys, I wouldn't want to be like, oh, my God, is she freaking crying the whole time, you know? I mean, for her sake, we get it. But also, like, she will learn from that experience. Yeah. We see, I see the biggest jumps from all the kids when we go out of town. Like, That's we go true. on vacation, we come so back, true. they've, like, figured something out about yeah. being... A little independent or a little bit like more out of capable. their comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. flexible. And so I mean, it sucks if she's crying because you love her and you don't want her to cry. If it were us watching, I first of all, I don't think that Riv would cry as long as you think she would. Mm -mm. Um, the second you're away, especially with this group, everybody's kind of a yeah. baby whisper. Um, but then also, like, if for, as far as adults go, we go, so baby. babies, That's babies fine. cry, and it's kind of like interesting to watch what works with them, and it's fun for us. That's how we bond. Even with your kids, like yeah. we want to know what makes her not cry for a second and happy. Toys, shiny stuff, <laughs> video games, laundry, mm -hmm. lots of candy. But yeah, but, tons of candy. So, I mean, but, she gave her a toy yeah. float tonight. Why? Kayla would have flipped. I love it. Jay, it wasn't open. It wasn't an open. It wasn't open. <laughs> she probably got that sucker open before she got the car. Actually, I think she threw it. But at I you. think that's a, just like just I was I was telling Jen right before this. Like just we're talking about River going from baby to toddler and all those different changes and how that affects how we're parenting. I feel like I'm going from newborn mom to toddler mom, right? And so like having like. I have a group of friends that are still not parents. And then I have a group of friends that are seasoned parents. And so I think I still think of my non-parenting friends that would be like, oh, my God, this baby's freaking flipping baby, out, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Then – but you're right. I left the baby with his sister today. And I immediately was like, is she good? And within 20 minutes, she's like, she cried for about two minutes. And here's a video. She's completely fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? But you, you I, I see her with me every day. And that mommy stranger danger thing. And if I'm there, she's immediately in tears. But usually it's better if you rip the band-aid off and get out of the mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Because otherwise they're like, are you leaving? Are you not? Are you leaving? Are you not? Because you yeah. keep coming back. Well, Teddy, and, even, and she it's pulls working. out with me on, yeah. like, if Corey's in the room, she'll be like, I want mommy. I want mommy. And she's, like, pushing me in the face and whatever. I was, daddy was her first word. It doesn't seem to mean a thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then today, like, somebody else came over. The, ba the babysitter came over. And, uh, and she's like, I just want my daddy. I don't. I want data. You know, so it's like who's on the totem pole right now? Who can she see? And who's at the top? And we just have to make ourselves be at the top right. once you. But you gotta leave the house. It's so we preferences. Can't. I yeah. actually had to tell a friend of mine the other day. There was the one I was telling you was like leaving her child in childcare, and I felt so bad afterwards. I was like, I hope it wasn't too harsh, but I was just like, I thought it was like, like what she needed to hear in the moment. I'm like, if you stay too long. It's so much more confusing for your child mm -hmm. it, than if you go, I love you. Mommy is coming back. I'll see you soon. They understand that. Kids understand so much more than you think they do. So young. So you can tell them that. And if you leave, 
they get it. Otherwise, if you're like, oh, they're still crying. Oh, hi. And mommy's here. Mommy's here. Mommy's here. Okay, bye, 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 bye. And I was like, okay, that's so selfish. Because you're just making it worse on your baby. Just leave yeah. if you're going to leave or stay if you're going to stay. And I just mean, rip in, the in fact, off. I don't know if you guys were told this, but in the swim classes that we're doing, they were like, the object, right? They're going to cry. They're going to get upset. We may ask mom, like, you're in the water or whatever. We may ask mom to, to take a second, take a beat and just go behind the door. But what we will not do is take the baby out of the water. Because yeah. once mm-hmm. the baby comes out of the water, they realize if I cry, yeah. mommy will come get me and she'll be and she will save me and this will be the, this will be it. And we want them to realize that they're more independent than they than they know in that yeah, moment. Yeah, that's smart. And th- there's never a time any of us remember as infants when we're like, I wanted mommy, she left, she didn't like there's they just don't even remember. They yeah. just have their feelings and they move on. Yeah. And then they're so happy to see you. Even with Bash who's 4 and Radley who's 9. I can be gone for an hour and when I come back I'm like the biggest rock star in the world. Mommy! And like Bash is four and he straight said the other day. You guys don't know. All I, when Corey leaves, all I do is talk up mom. I go, I make lists every time. For the whole time you're gone, I just go, here's a list of all the things that are good about mom, right? I'm way worse than mom. Can't you wait till mom gets home? He did not. <laughs> That's such a lie. Did you, you want to talk about an hype, argument we had? Hype guy. Yeah. I do want to talk about the okay, argument. Okay, let's talk about but, argument. But Bash Street told me the other day, Daddy is my favorite person no, in this family. He didn't say that. He was he, he was walking and he, he was like did. he was he wanted to play a game or something and he goes uh, he was talking to Radley who wanted to be the character that Dad had already signed on to play from PJ Masks. And he goes, well. I don't know, Rad. Dad's my favorite in the family, so I think he gets to be Gecko. <laughs> That's what he said. He wasn't like, Mom, I like Dad better than you. No, but he oh, definitely said, but Ty is definitely his favorite person in the family. Like, there's no question about That's it. So oh, cute. I love and it. And I have mom That's guilt funny. about it because we had a new baby when Bash was still of very course. young, and so she steals my lap. Anyway, that's a whole Well, I told the girls that Evie looked at me last night and was like, Mom, you are my favorite face. Oh, and I, I went, oh, I love that. And she goes, not Daddy. <laughs> Whoa, geez, just to clarify, if there's she any goes, sort of confusion here, okay. Adrian. To make it better, she goes, his is really scratchy. <laughs> Fair. I get it. I get it, actually. Okay, so I think we should talk about our most recent fight. What do you think our biggest fight was like before this fight two nights ago? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't remember any of our fights. So the only one I remember is kind of like, no, I really don't. We no, don't, PJ does the same thing. I'm like, I remember fight. all of them. <laughs> I bet even but if we remember all of fight. them, like we it's legit under don't five fight. fights of our life. It probably. is. That's we crazy. legitimately don't fight. And I don't know what they are, but I, the only one I ever remember is the <laughs> first kind of big fight that we had where it was weird that I was actually kind of mad internally, like I had something going on. Because I was like, gonna say? we're going to pay for freaking bagged ice when you can just make ice in oh, the I remember freezer. This. And it, it frustrated me so much. Corey wanted to buy bagged ice. I don't even know why. For I was some... pregnant, by the way. I remember this. And I was like, I'll I remember make this you fight. Ice. You told us about this on the podcast. It was a podcast. real fight. It's like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. But, it was, but yeah. like yeah. stuff that's like, we we will talk about real things that are happening and I'll, I can be super emotional, but we talk about it. Because you see it coming because you go, this could be a fight. So we got to talk about it. Yeah. When somebody's like, I don't want you to buy three dollar bag. I mean, even I know it's dumb. I'm like, I was wrong, but three dollars okay. for a bag. I'm like, but I'll pay an ATM fee that gets yeah. me zero do- right. zero yeah. anything. Right. But, like, but like in New York, that could be nine dollars, yes. and he would pay it, but he wouldn't buy me three dollar bag ice when oh, I was pregnant. Yeah. So why don't you tell the story? No, I don't want to. I actually don't even want to talk <laughs> about this. I, don't I, I really don't. 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 Uh, You're still mad about it. You can tell it. Well, it was Ooh, look, rude. Feisty. What you did was rude. Ooh. The way you handled it. Now let's see a Britain Jenner on your side or his side. You can't, there's no way Welcome to be on anyone's to. side okay. because there's no proof in the, there's no way to Mortal determine combat. it. Look at Corey, she's like, hold Except on, let Corey, me Except because she's got perfect recording. ears. I never recording. said that. Well, there's not. We're still recording, yes. Okay. Roll back okay, the tape, well, roll back the have, tape. Look, this all have, happened at the moment in the evening where we're supposed to be the most uh, in love and relaxed. And to be in fair, bed. like, yeah. I had oh. had a really rough day. This was the same morning where, like, all I vented to stuff Ty. Stuff got canceled. Yes, mm-hmm. same oh, day. God. And I just lost my shit. And I, this was the day that I yelled at him. I don't need you to <laughs> fix it. I just need you to hear me. And I need you to see me and understand. This is about, this is like 10 seconds before I go live to the whole world on my radio And I apologize show. for all of this. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like listening. Yeah. Digesting. I was, I was not, it was not my best moment. I have fully admitted that. I have apologized for that more than once. Mm-hmm. I have thanked him for loving me through that and, like, thanked him for the fact that, like, he's the only person that sees that side of me and loves me anyway. 
I'm not mad about that. She's, She's rubbing that in right now just to like make sure you know, know that. And so we'd had this day, but like I feel bonded to him in those moments. I still moments. don't know what happened. What's like, on? I feel bonded to him in those <laughs> moments. We had a big fight in bed that night. I feel like you're buttering me up. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I so felt as so long as you guys know him, that Corey's wonderful. I felt so bonded to him in that moment because I'm like, he loves me no matter what. And our my, my like, favorite thing uh-huh. is to, like, lay on his shoulder at night. And then I usually fall asleep. And if I am not I did on that too because we didn't get to do it because I used to work mornings so yeah. right. I had to be up at 3.15 in the morning. So He'd I'd be in bed, bed at 7. At, yeah, it'd be like me and Radley go to bed at the same time. <laughs> and then Corey's up and you, you guys would come over Quiet. for like bachelor yeah. nights or whatever yeah. and, and I would just be in bed listening to the party out there. So I yeah. never got to lay with Corey in bed for like yeah. years. So that is special. Yeah, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and it's and if I don't, if I'm not on his shoulder, he's like, what are you doing? This Like come over here even if it's really late and it's something that is just I think really important to both of us. And then I get trapped there because I can't sleep on my back. Right. Uh, and I have to wait till like the right moment to be like, yeah. Ex- Ex- or whatever, to wakes her ass up so she'll roll over. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so it's a it's a moment in our day, and it's something that particularly this day I was like, oh my gosh, this is my safe place. And so then <laughs> you want me to it's tell, away from the edit you want me machines. To tell the this like actually annoys me. So we can go I'm ahead. So sorry. Like, well, we, like, ha- we have a me. rule. We have a rule that we don't talk right. about things publicly until we're past them. And I thought that we were past it, but maybe we're not. Should we not talk oh, about Oh, like this? I'll survive. I don't care. No, you can Oops. talk about You, you really be, can pretty much talk about anything. Are ever. you going to be like re mad at me, though? No. Well, we'll see how because you handle still, this. We'll see how you handle <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, I'll tell you the story in now my I'm head. I'm dying to hear the story. I'll tell story. you the story in my head because it's dumb. Think bag dice. This is how dumb it is. And we're still like days later. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, so we love to watch home reno shows and lately we've been watching this property brothers show called forever home uh-huh. and one of the reasons we both love it is because they are like the biggest goofballs mm-hmm. and they tell these dad jokes even though they're not dads and it's like really funny and they're so dorky but we both love it so they were doing a home reno on this family that is very musical i'd kind of like the property brothers to do a renovation on our house so if you could actually refrain from calling them dorks for same a <laughs> no i meant that I was, I was in a music video would, for the Property Brothers, so I, I agree. Yeah. Yes. I actually yeah. think they're they would great. take we that should, as a they're compliment. They're great. They're great. You should have them I on think they show. would take mm-hmm. that as a compliment. Like, yeah. I think they are dorky in the best kind of way, where oh, they, they tell really the are. goofiest jokes, and it's hilarious. They're and I balls. laugh every time. I yeah. love them. Mm-hmm. I mean that as a compliment. They don't take themselves too seriously exactly. in the best way. I was way. just going to say that. I yeah. love people that are so confident. Jen, Corey's just trying to get the Property Brothers on her side now. So when this fight story finally comes out, they'll call and be like, oh, no, it was you. You were right. They're not going to believe what this fight was actually. Yeah. Fight. We, had a, we had a fight over a property brother. I was Brittany angry. Brittany and I are both like, I'm on the edge of my seat. He's so fired right. up. He's so fired he, up. He's, got it, he's so going on right now. Because it was I rude. It. I feel like I can say this because you have a lot of support around you. So I felt like it was a little rude the way that you handled the fight. All right. Now and I thought it was what funny. It was. So I was like, oh, this is another great funny moment. So he pulls my ponytail a lot. I'll preface that by saying like, he's given me shit since the moment we met. And it's part of our thing with each other is that we're t- we're both you razz tough, each other. You're both sarcastic. So we razz each other. Mm-hmm. He oh, calls I, me I, out. I, okay, I, he mm. calls me out on everything. Sure. There's nothing I can't get away with. Nothing sacred. Nothing. Like, I'm sorry. Nothing I can't. <laughs> what you say? Nothing sacred. There's yeah. nothing I can get away with that he doesn't call me out on. If I say a word, he's been okay. Like the word Corey, hexagonal. One... Do you say hexagonal or hexagonal? Hexagonal. Okay. But so she I says thought, the real word. Yeah. But on the Property Brothers, one of them said. <laughs> Hexagonal, and I was like, "This is one of our more lighthearted uh, property still, brothers fights." But this is an example of things that I just laugh about, and he gives me shit about, it and we bring it up every time they say it, and then it's like he's like, "Oh, like." Well, the property brothers went on the internet, and had they had differing opinions on that too, and yeah. there was an answer on that one. We had an outcome, so it was defined. The answer. Well, I was think defined. there's an answer on this one, but was anyways, it hexagonal? Maybe that's why you're mad. Yeah. No, no, but that was just an example of like we give each other but it's crap. A hexagon. Right, it's a hexagon. Right. But, but you say diagonal. You don't say hexagonal. You don't diagonal. say diagonal. 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 Like it's <laughs> diagonal. Right. Right. So hexagonal, right? Okay. Right. Yeah. See, but you get you get it. Got it. So anyway, one of the property brothers said it wrong, but I had said it wrong earlier in the episode. But anyway, that's part of our thing is we give each other crap. It's part of why I'm even like probably tougher than when we met because it's funny. I know he yeah. loves me, but we still give each other crap. So sometimes like I'm giving him crap and I don't realize that he's getting pissed at me, which is kind of what happened. <laughs> So, uh, so anyway, this is the oh. most ridiculous lie you've ever heard, and he's still mad, and I feel so bad. And I still disagree with you, for the record. I have looked, I've watched it. Okay, what is it? Okay, yeah, so they're there. with this musical family who I would venture to say was not as musical as they thought Corey, they were. be nice to these people. I want... 
the Property Brothers to renovate. The Property Brothers are going to come on the Ty Bentley show. Yeah, we're not Apple worried about the country. family that wasn't that musical. We're going to. About them. I'm sure so the they Property will. Brothers are like, of course, goofing around and singing. So they show up at the door for this people, these people to like say, hey, we're going to do your house. And the two of them go, hello, hello, hello. No, like one this. of them does that. And then the other one goes, oh, God, hello, hello, hello. Same note still. So they go, hello was, and hello. He was still it's singing that. No, it's not. Hello, hello. They were, hello. And there's a middle note that it hits. What I So this is my argument, is that they actually, and I think this is a dorky thing they've probably done for years, that they know how to do the harmony. They know how to harmonize. Of the hello, hello, hello. But they're not. And I go, that was pretty good on that third note. And Corey goes, no, that was unison. And she's still having the argument. And then she goes, I have a trained ear. No, and that not hurts my feelings because I'm like, I work in music for 25 years now. All I do is listen to music all the time. All I do is pick things so apart. The, no, wait, wait. Was it unison so the, or harmony? That this? is what I this feel like is. We need to, the, I feel like we need to know when I leave, the property I don't even care if you guys all come together. Or I feel like we need to play, oh, the t- play gosh, back the tape. Is it Drew and Scott? Can I tell you guys? Hey, you don't have the rights to play this or air this, and I really want the property brothers to. He wants to do it on his show. We have to cut this. We'll have to see this. We'll have to see this. Can I tell you People that people have to go to season see, in my head, four episodes? In my something. head, I'm laughing because it's funny. I said, yeah, I said, but they were. They, it was unison, and he goes, yeah, "I go no, no, it, no." I go, "No, it was no." The last note they weren't, and she goes, "No, it's unison." And I go, "It's not unison." They and he goes, the same "I have notes. ears," and I said, "I also have ears." No, she goes, so "I have I, trained ears." No, that's not where it started. Trained. That's not where it started. Like, oh first, my first, God. first, you said. I have ears. I have ears. And I said, I I too have ears. And you said, I listen to music all day. And I said, I have a trained ear. I'm a singer. It's literally my trade. Now, for the so, record, that order of things was reversed. You get you threw the trained ear at me. And that was what set me a little bit back. And then I was like, okay. And I said, I and then this. I didn't realize he was truly upset. And I was like, I thought it was but, rude. But it's unison. Like it just it is. It wasn't unison. What, I have the name of the episode or what season it was. No idea. To stuff and swore up and down that what I heard was the way I heard it, and then I went back and it wasn't. And oh, I, was no, like, I went back like five. times. Well, he did go back like five times, and I was just laughing because I was like, I understand that one of the guys is a little off pitch, but what they're doing is unison. And he said, "No, it's two notes under." So I sang two yes. notes under. You know, ACE, said, right? ACE, like all this stuff, right? Like it can be a harmony it's of a chord. Easy. No, it wasn't. I See, don't, I don't have a musically trained ear, so even if I listen to it, I don't know. Oh well, Corey does. I bet I can hear. So if you need anything, <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously you understand. Even, so I'm even like, if she called you that morning to scream at you about something that wasn't your fault, and you're just trying to go do your work, but it's like that fight of and like you were there is, for her. Like she can't let you have. So this the question one. If I'm like, is, this mic is black, and was you're it like, a no, harmony? it's purple. Was it a harmony or was it an off pitch unison? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh God. I don't know. I can't yeah. take sides here. I bet you Brittany. Whoa. I don't. I, I don't know what either of those this. mean. <laughs> Honestly, the funny. Unison means like the same. I'm trying to the find same it. I don't know what season And harmony on. means they're like each singing different notes and it harmonizes. But, but um, he got mad at me and he said he was singing two so notes under and I'm like, note. no, but two notes under is this and that's not the note that either one of them but was maybe, singing. But maybe he can only sing at that note, but it really is two notes under. Yes. Well, either way, Or what if they just can't freaking sing? They can't. But <laughs> either way, it worked. And I feel like they practiced it, that one. Every forever home. Uh oh. Hold on. There's six years. We did long distance. Wait, no, I don't think this is them. Mm. Hold on. What, what was it? What, what season were we on? You know I, what season we I don't. We're on. Ty is like do I so know? fired up about this. I actually one. have to I hear it now. I do too. Okay. Well, you guys Hold listen on. without me and decide whatever you decide. I'm not going to listen to this episode. I was there oh. for you all day that day. I was, I'm there for you all We're life. We're there life. for you, Ty. And then I'm just trying to go to sleep watching the Property Brothers, and you threw your trained ear <laughs> at you. <laughs> she threw a trained ear and at then, you. And then, just for the record, what did I say? When I was mad, and you rolled away, and you go, I'm just going to go sleep over here. She did. I said, no, no. I said, you <laughs> come lay on my shoulder. I'm going to love you. you go to sleep. I said, I'm going to love you forever. I'm going to love you through this. I said, today, I was angry. You're not not angry. angry. And I still said, I, I'm going to love you forever. I rolled over and I said, what I needed tonight was this. That's what I needed tonight. And I needed us. And I don't understand why you're mad. Because I thought we were joking. And I realized you're mad. I'm never, like, and then you said. But that was one thing. Then, then I got mad about that. Because I was like, she thinks I'm joking. You don't know me at all. And then I just, I'm out of here. 
She's strangling me. <laughs> Witnesses. She's keeping you. I know. You love me. I That's thought it was great. I, I she's was angry and I still, me. I turned to love, didn't I? Love when I was me. angry. I love oh, you. Even if you see? don't understand, you He's a well-trained man. I love you. Tell, tell me what I can do to fix this. I learned that. I learned this from PJ. You love me. You're not Just tell me what I can do. Tell me what I can do to fix this. Tell me how I can serve you. We'll get you a music class. Oh my God. You see what I'm talking about? Oh God, she's so good. Hello. Hello. That Hello. was so sarcastic. Oh, I love that. You're not running away. I will I say, Corey, that it. was really a funny <laughs> comment. Goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. Was it harmony? Oh, no, that was unison, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you need to tell me you still tune in to the Ty Bentley show every day on Apple Music Country to hear how this ends. Hey, you're not actually bad at me, are you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I love you. It was you It was you I don't know what it was. I reserve judgment. I'm trying. On. I'm trying to pull it up. Is that not the dumbest fight you've ever heard of? Here it is. I found it. I it's not- I tend to think. It's two very different singing voices. Is it a gold? Is unison. it a gold dress with blue sleeves, or is it a blue dress with black sleeves? It, it, it's but no, I would it's just also not even if a question they to me. said I know. singing in unison. If, if they said they were harmonizing, I would also buy that. I would like to wrap that up by saying, like, my husband's amazing, dad, amazing yes, partner. Yes, he is. We so rarely fight that so that's funny. why it's like still funny. That is to me such that a funny fight. But it, no, like, but what's cute about it is that like it's a light argument. Like you're not like yeah, you, like you asked me about mine's like. Foundational like it's a major, it's a, oh, it's a major fight fighting for my babies. parents of young kids. Mm, yeah, it's a normal thing. It's true. Yeah, and I do think that there's something about arguing that means you care mm-hmm. yeah. on both ends. I and I, I don't think too like I remember pre baby our arguments being so trivial, not at like like fun cutesy stuff, just like you know, you're annoying me, so I'm going to go party with friends and go do, right? It, like, not, not not the argument itself was trivial, just the reactions were trivial. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, like you were just much more of like, well, screw you, I'm going to go out with my girlfriends and get drunk. Like, or right. screw you, I'm going to go do whatever. Now it's like, okay, we're going to mess with each other. We may have these tiny little arguments or they may be big arguments, but we have to handle them so differently now yeah. in the house. And that was kind of like our, like, small or large, or whatever the you know, the foundation of the argument was. What I've gotten out of this post baby is like I am so careful about what that looks like in front of the kids. Yeah, yeah. I never used to be. I used to be yeah. like like if like that little tiny thing would have sent me over the edge and I would have slammed a door. Yeah, and now I'm like, okay, I love you. I'm gonna I'm we're gonna go to bed now. But you're you're cute, right? But yeah. like you know that you're not going anywhere. Yeah, you know. Right. Before I'd be like. Well, Slam just the strength door. of the relationship. I don't like need kind of, this. Yeah. Do you and it's Adrian unison, have like a thing bitch. that's like your default argument? You know, the interesting thing is, and this is probably a longer, let me make sure we haven't stopped again. Okay. This is actually maybe even a longer portion of an episode, but we have one argument that's become kind of a default thing because we don't really fight. I mean, we bicker, but we don't, we're like you guys, we don't have these like big blow up arguments anymore. I mean, we went through that phase, obviously. But so Adrian stopped drinking about three years ago. And what he realized was as a sober man, his love language is different than it used to be. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And he is a man who really needs physical touch. Mm. And I am not a physical touch person. I mean, I love to like hug on my babies and at the end of the day, I like curling up in bed with Adrian, but I would never go to sleep on him. Yeah. I want my space. I think part of it is being a mom. For me, I'm like, I'm with my kids all day, at least one of my children all day long. You're touched except out. Except for four hours on two different days. I'm touched out. And I'm touched out emotionally, mentally, physically. And I don't, I'm just not, I, I will reach over if you're crying and touch you, but I'm probably not going to be the like. I'm a little bit they more embrace you. Yeah. Like if I hug you, it's because you're really upset. Yeah. I'm not, I'm just not. And I don't know if I've always been that way. I, I recognize it as something in myself that I want to change. I do want to be more physical, but he and I argue about that a lot. He's like, I need you to touch me more. And wow, what yeah. was actually what started a little bit of an argument is we went out with friends last Friday night 
And we were out with Lucy and Tom and Fiorella and Orlando and Katie and Stevie. And we went to this great restaurant and guys were sitting at one end, girls were sitting at the other. And our friends were even commenting that like Adrian and I were sitting, we're the only couple sitting next to each other. Like he ended the guy section. I started the girl section and I kept like touching him, you know, or like, you know, hugging on him all night long, like all night long. And of course, you know, we were there. I mean, it, we're also sort of there as influencers. So we're taking, you know, videos and shooting stuff. And a couple times, like I took videos of us kissing and we do kiss often. But the next day he's, he really kind of lit me up. He was like, you didn't touch me. You weren't like interested in me. And I was kind of like, wait, I have a totally different recollection of that night than you do. Mm-hmm. I was like, I touched you here. I touched you there. I was like, we, I feel like we were really like in sync. And yeah. so in my head, I'm like, if I'm touching you that much and that's not enough for you, I'm like, that really scares me because I feel like I'm like. At your limit. I, yeah. And it's, that's totally, of course, after that, we're going home. The whole world, the, if you listen to our podcast, knows we have sex probably five days a week. So we're not like strangers physically, but it's like, God, if like the random fleeting touches, if that's not enough. I don't know how to give you enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that has been our, that has been our you, biggest You know what's so recently. funny? The, the, the commonality between, by the way, I mean, you can totally tell you guys love each other so much, right? Even when you're talking like about the argument itself. And I know, and I watch you and Adrian, and the, these are, I mean, watching you guys is, is, is really inspirational because you guys really do truly love each other. And it's very obvious when you both are talking, I hear you both saying that each one of you and your partner sees the story differently, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Even down to unison versus Completely. the harmony, right? You Literally heard something hear, different. Yeah. differently, And you're like, man, I had this whole, I even have it on video. I did. And I, I take that back and I think about it in my own life. And I'm like, I definitely see some things totally different than he does. He comes into the room being like, you're the, you're the boss. And I want, you know, your mama bear and I'm going to follow your lead. And I'm thinking, you're just, just not listening. You're, you're, you're not. Like, yeah. It should you're come not, natural to right. you. You're not. Yeah. You're, you don't care about me because you're not doing right. it. Yeah. Right. So it's just so funny that, that men are really from Mars and women yeah. are from Venus. We right. Just like look at things differently. We approach things differently. We have we such a. Thing, if we have you such invest a, in a little training early on with any marriage, it's oh, golden. Because then you have like years and years and years where it's like they know what you want. You know what they want. And by the way, training goes both ways. I mean, like mm. you almost have to train each other for how you are in a relationship, what you expect, what he expects. Yeah. And even as parents, it's like, here's what I expect. Here's how I work. And here's what how he works and what he expects. This is where this, like, I, my husband's almost unflappable. But he got really <laughs> upset about this unison. He did. I don't unison know that not ever. Anything. I've never seen Mr. Unison I, this upset. I, I really? I'm like, I'm so like. He's Mr. Funny. Harmony. What are you talking about? I know. I'm going to buy him a desk I plate wish it that wasn't says funny, harmonize. But like, he was like strangely offended. And I don't know why. I'm like, I should be offended that you wouldn't assume that I know what unison is. I've been a singer my entire life. My whole trade I wonder is if the ear is like the color thing that you're talking about. That, that like that people can hear things. Yeah, but it's still unison. Differently. Yeah, right, but it's but, still unison. But to him, yeah. he hears a harmony. And just, just like you to see agree blue to and I see gray. Yeah, well, we just like, have to he was agree. Like, fine, it's fine. You can just believe it's that fine. even though you're it's wrong. Unison. And I'm like, seriously? Are we serious? Like, And it was this funny, like, really like and I was like laughing about it. And he was... Actually needed. mad, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, That's but good. when you have a relationship of giving giving each other crap, yep. you just assume you can give each other crap. But I'm every every once in a while I'm sensitive where he doesn't expect yeah. me to be sensitive, and so I have to appreciate oh, yeah. that that goes both yeah, ways. Yeah, like, like, in the same sense, that's what PJ PJ when he came in, he was like, "Oh, we did the laundry." Like he was like, "I wasn't telling you that you are dirty and you don't do laundry." Right. He was like, "I was just he surprised was that you remembered because right. you always talk about your mom brain." And I was like, "My mom brain makes me sensitive." Yeah. And he was like, yeah. "Okay, I know not to joke about that." Oh, anymore. I've had so many of those moments where I'm like, "You can't even tease me like that because I can't take it." Well, also, I mean, I don't know about about your your lives, but PJ. I'll delve into ours a little bit. He is um, like he's regimented. It's the military, in yeah. Him, you know, yeah. and so he'll come home and like this will bother him, oh, that would bother right? Me. And so he it doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. why. I'm not a, I'm not a messy person, but it, a little bit of mess is fine because I am more organized, right? Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, let me get the day together, and then those are going to go into the recycling. That has to go into oh, the dishwasher. Yeah. His whole thing is, I'm going to throw that all in one drawer. 
Oh, see, that's what Adrian oh, he does. Just needs he's an clean. out of sight, out of mind. Right. He's he a straightener. Adrian's right. a straightener. Straight. I am a cleaner. Right. So we have, and they actually, we do compliment each other well because of that. But that is a really difficult thing for us. Because I'm like, let me tell you what I did today. I vacuum behind the beds. I clean the blinds. I wipe the baseboards down. Mm. He's like, I don't see any of that. I don't see it. Yeah. And I'm like, I know you don't see it. You would see it if I didn't yeah. do it. Our six junk drawers just turn mm-hmm. into one. Thank you very much. Right. But exactly. in two months from now, there will be the six junk drawers again, yep. you know? Yep. And yep. so yep. that's that's like the the funny thing is like we we poke at each other because he I, I think he thinks like I'm so messy. But in reality, I just I, I'm like, OK, well, I'm going to get a bucket for those things. I got to go order the bucket. When I get the bucket, I'm going to go grab the soap. When I get the soap, I put it in the yep. dishwasher. Right. Like my my stuff is. A task I get list. how I'm going to handle this. Yeah. Right. His is get it the it's fuck out of here right now. <laughs> yeah. And so then yeah. I'm then and then I'm like, where the shit is my blue cup? Where is it? I can't find it anywhere. Somewhere. It's nowhere to be found. Yeah. And then there's probably mold in it. And then I'm going to get pissed off. And he was like, mm. well, we're sitting on the table for two days. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, he's a man. Put- yeah. You can't live with him. Maybe, but it, sort but, of it, but I but I but I think that that's just like any relationship, yeah. Like, right? It really You're, is a good point. Like I, I truly feel like I couldn't be in a better relationship. Like yeah. I yeah. feel like my relationship is so far beyond my expectation of a great relationship. Yeah. And it just goes to show that any relationship can have these like nobody's perfect. No, mm-hmm. and also if it was perfect all the time, it wouldn't be perfect because you would just be like bored. Yeah. yeah. You would be like PJ and I talk about all the time. Self for he, each other. He, PJ will say like when he talks about a woman, he's like, I think about you right and I think about how great of a mother you are and I think you're out about like when I met you I knew you would be a good mother like I knew you would mm. like you were the woman that I wanted to be with right like there are other existential circumstances of people right in your mind of what you need on your checklist and those are moral compasses or yeah. whatever whatever it is yeah. you value at the highest level that's what the most important is in your partner and everything else you you have to leave to chance right yeah. like I like he is everything of a father I could be. Is he the most communicative? No, we'll work on that, right? But the but as as far as the needs that I need met for a foundational relationship to Which be what I needed to be, yep. we're good, we're golden. Yeah. So he's never gonna be Mister Perfect, right? Yeah. Like he's never and and I know I wouldn't even if I had it, would I know that or would right. I pick something else apart? Probably pick something else apart. I think that's our nature. Yeah. So this episode is entitled How Not to Murder Your Husband. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you, Ty. Oh, I love, love you, you husband. I, love you, <laughs> I feel like it's like these conversations are important, though, because yeah. it's not about attacking anyone. It's mm-hmm. about understanding that we can look at things so differently. Perspective, point of view. Yeah. Yeah. We all bring yeah. different things to the table. Some of us are, uh, you know, a little bit more psycho than others. <laughs> Also, I need to make sure my husband isn't actually mad at me. <laughs> I know, you might want to go find yeah. him. <laughs> the Hi, My Name is Mom studio is brought to you by the Yard Sale Store. Check them out at yardsalestore.com and on socials at Yard Sale USA.